Hello my loves, thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be another tested video. I'm just going to be testing out some of the products that I purchased in my previous video. I hauled a few items and I'm gonna start off with my eyes and I've already got my eyebrows done and I have a base down. I just used the MAC paint pot to set my eyes right here and I used just the Maybelline Age Rewind to carve out my brows. So for those of you all who saw the haul, you already know that I hauled this palette and this is the Mirage palette. Here are the shades. So I'm just going to do a basic look and I'll have the swatches at the end of the video and I'll put a timestamp below if you want to just kind of skip to that. So I'm just gonna use this shade as my brow bone highlight and it looks as though there's no fallout or kick up in the pan. and it looks to be no fallout on the eye upon application. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and again, I'm going to just do a simple look and I'm gonna go ahead and use this shade right here. And again, I don't see that there's any fallout or kick up or anything. And I'm just applying this in my outer V and I'm going to bring it up just a little bit more okay so that shade appeared to blend in really good all right so again i'm keeping this look really simple i'm gonna use this shade next and this is a metallic shade and i'm gonna start working on my lid and I'm just going to put that right here on my lid. And I'm just, I'm not wetting my brush. And that's just so you all can see how it applies without me wetting the brush. All right, and so next I'm going to apply this lighter pink on the inner part of my lower lash line. Next, I'm gonna go in with this chocolate shade and I wanna use this on top of the other shadows just to see how well this these shadows layer. Now this particular shade, I am getting some kick up and fallout. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap that out and I'm gonna put it right here and see. So it appears to be layering pretty good on top of the other shadows. So I'm just going to apply that And then to blend that out some more, I'm gonna go back in with this shade here and just apply that over it. And can you all see the fallout right here? That fallout is from the darker shade that I applied. All right, and I think I want to use a pop of blue on the lower lash line. I'm gonna use this blue um, on the inner part of the lower lash line just to add a pop of blue because we all love blue, right? <laughs> All right then, and I'm just gonna add this chocolate shade on the lower lash line. And I think I'm going to add this blue right here next to this uh, brighter blue. Okay, and that pretty much does it for the look. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the edges with a wipe. And I'm gonna add a little bit of liner. All 
And now that I have the liner, I'm going to add a little bit of mascara. All right, so now that I have the eyes done, I think I'm going to go ahead and use this foundation and this is the Kai Para Me, which means uh, the Para Me stands for For Me. And I can tell you now that I did use a little pump of it and it was it was too way too light so what I am going to do is mix it with a foundation that I have that is a little bit too deep for me so this is the shade here and as you can see it is running and the foundation that I'm going to mix it with is my covergirl vitalist healthy elixir and this is it the shade that I have is in tawny so um, this is a little bit too deep. So I'm just going to add a pump of that in with it. And I'm going to mix those two together because this one is just way, way, way too light. The shade in the store that was next to this shade, bronze, it was too deep. So I went to this shade. And of course, this shade would be too <laughs> way too light. So let's see, let me find my brush. You all know that I like to use a brush and I'm just gonna use a BH Cosmetic flat brush. This is clean, believe it or not, but it's like stained or something. So I'm just gonna go ahead and mix these shades together and hopefully it won't just be too light. Now what I can tell you about this foundation is that it does have a strong scent and I did notice after I purchased it that the second ingredients on it is alcohol which I, I don't that doesn't really sit too well with me I don't like that also when you go on the website you can't find any there's no information about the foundation so I'm not sure if my brush has absorbed everything, but <laughs> I'm gonna have to add some more. Yeah, cause it's totally, that's it. I don't have any more. So I'm gonna add another and I'm going to add some more of this other foundation and I'm gonna mix them in together. And I know that it's gonna look really white on my forehead. Look at how light that is. <laughs> okay but I'm going to fix it because I still have this contour palette so I feel like I'll be able to fix it a little bit with that so I'm gonna go ahead and work this in Okay, I have that all blended in and I know it's too light. I know it is too light, but I'm gonna fix it with this um, contour palette. So this is a cream contour palette and it's got four different shades. So I'm going to go in with the deepest shade and I'm just going to apply it up here with my fingers and then I'm going to blend it out with a brush and we're gonna see what this does. And it is on, it is on the thicker side, I guess, but I'm gonna see how it blends out. I thought about adding a oil to it, but I was like, no, nah, I better not do that. So I'm gonna see how this blends out. And I think I came down too low on this side, but that's okay. We're gonna work with it. We're gonna push right on through because I'm going to make this work. All right, so I'm going to use a brush to blend this out. And I'm also going to just kind of run my brush down here as well. So I won't have that kind of light face down here at the bottom. So I'm going to run it down here. And I think I might have this blended in pretty good. All right, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and use this lightest shade on the inner part of my eye. And again, I'm gonna use my fingers. Ooh, that's too light. That is super light. Maybe not. Let's see. Let's, let me go in with this one. Yeah, I'll have to, I'll just mix the two. And 
and again this stuff is really it's on the thicker side so I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out with a sponge and see what that is doing and this sponge is wet uh, and it doesn't appear to be blending can you all see this is not blending out in fact it's picking up the foundation that I put on so I don't know if it's because the sponge is wet or what but that's a total bust so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back in with my foundation brush and I'm just gonna go back over this and I'm going to use another concealer because this this doesn't it's too I don't know if it's because I used it with a wet sponge or what that's probably it the sponge was wet so um, that doesn't work well <laughs> like that so I'm just going to go in with my Maybelline age rewind and I'm gonna put a little here a little there and a little there and then I'm gonna try to blend that out with the same sponge but on the other end all right, so I have all of that on. I've got my little highlight on and it looks okay. And I'm just gonna go ahead and set it all over with my Black Radiance Powder that I picked up and I picked it up in the shade Honeymoon. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this all over. And I can tell you now that I like this powder. I think the color is great. All right, so let's go ahead and try the blush. Okay, this is the blush. Let's try this out. So I think I'm going to, I'm gonna try this dark, this shade here. Okay, and there's not a lot of kick up, okay? I'm still tap it off and I'm just going to put it right here so I don't know if this one is like a highlight or what but it's pretty I think I'm gonna use some of that one too and see what the deal is with that so I'm gonna pick that up and put that here so I guess that's like a little highlight and it's actually that's pretty Ooh. now this I like do y'all see that now it's not anything blind in this it is on the softer side but I do like that I'm gonna put a little bit on my nose okay so that's pretty and I think I am gonna go back in with this shade right here just to see what that looks like on my skin get another brush that so here it is and I'm gonna put that right here because it almost looks like you could contour with this but no you can't it still has that that pinky tone to it but it's pretty all right I'm back you all this is the final look and I added a lip liner a lip gloss this lip liner is by NYX I'll have everything listed below and this is a lip gloss by Alme and this is a lime crime liquid lipstick and I felt like I had to do something to kind of help this look along that's why I kind of did the most with the lips and the eyelashes so let me quickly tell you I think the foundation is I think that it's pretty um, even though I did mix the two okay I think that it's a pretty foundation it doesn't feel heavy on the skin it feels really light I don't like the fact that it has alcohol as a second ingredient in it I don't like the fact how when you go on the website you don't see much information about it and that's probably because it's a new company but I mean I don't think that that's 
still an excuse because there are a lot of new companies out there on the market that when you go to their website you still see information or you have information about the product now as far as their blush palette i do i love this blush palette i like the little light highlight it's something that's really nice and subtle something for every day i think these shades go really well with my skin tone i actually like the contour palette but it is on the thick side and just remember if you do decide to pick this up and you want to use any of these lighter shades to do a highlight and you want to blend it out with your sponge if your sponge is wet it's going to mess up just like you all saw in the video um, as far as this palette right here I think it's a nice palette for $10. Again, I did use a base, which is the MAC base, before I did the eyeshadow, and I didn't set it with a powder or anything, and I thought that the shades blended well. I think you were able to layer them pretty good. So, yeah, um, and again, here are, the, here are the shades right here. So, what else did I use? I think, oh, and this powder, I love this powder. I think that this powder is perfect for my skin tone. Um, this is in the shade Honeymoon. So, love it, love it, love it. And it's not a heavy powder either. Either I don't feel anything heavy on my skin. So, that is pretty much it. Be on the lookout for my future videos. Thank you all so much for tuning in. And until my next video, smooches.